we shall solve the problem on MaxNet. The question is construct MaxNet with 5 neurons having initial activations of 5 nodes 0 0.5, 0 0.9, 1, 0 0.9, 0 0.9. So we know that there is a, there are 5 neurons. So the weight matrix of MaxNet will be given as Okay, as we know the weight matrix is given as the diagonal element will be theta that is the self excitation weight and the other off diagonal elements will be given by epsilon so in this case we select the self excitation weights theta is equal to 1 as usual and mutual inhibition weights are selected as 1 by 5 because it should be less than the 1 by 5 that is the number of nodes so we are taking it can be less than or equal to, we are taking it equal to. So if at all I replace this, I will be getting this matrix. So as shown here. Now based upon this particular matrix which is shown, I will draw in the magnet. So there are 5 nodes and the self excitation weights are 1, 2 and the mutual inhibition weights which are connected from one network to another these are minus 1.5 yes still not done all the weights have to be connected to every other so all the nodes have to be connected to every other node So this is the MaxNet which we have got and these are the nodes which I can number like this. So now what we have to do is that we have constructed the MaxNet but then we need to check what will be the output after the first iteration, second iteration. Now if you see here in this particular question what you are given is that you are given five uh, the outputs at the beginning. So whatever is being fed to this particular network at the beginning. So the output of the first neuron is 0 0.5, second is 0 0.9, third is 1, 0 0.9, 0 0.9. So which is the maximum output here? 1 is the maximum output. So which is produced for, by, for the neuron 3. So now after the iterations it should be such that the other outputs will become 0 and only this output will be maximum. So once this output is maximum at that particular time, I say that the problem is done. Okay, in the beginning while we are doing the first iteration, the activations given are indicated as x, 0 0.5, 0 0.9, 1, 0 0.9, 0 0.9. So we shall be calculating the output for each and every node. So for node 1, we shall be calculating it. So I write net 1 is equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to n omega 1i into x. Now what is the meaning of omega 1i? Omega 1i, omega 1 will be nothing but the first weight. That is the first weight vector. If at all you see the weight matrix, omega 1, this particular will be nothing but omega 1. And what will be omega 1i? Now this will be omega 1, 1, omega 1, 2, omega 1, 3, omega 1, 4, omega 1, 5 like this. 
So the first we have to pick this particular value we have got here and this we have to multiply first by the first row of this particular matrix. So after getting that we will be getting the net one value. Okay. So we do that. So what is the rate? I have written this equation. I have written xi. So this will be x1, x2, x3 and wi1. The first weight was 1. Second was minus 1.5. Third was minus 1.5. Fourth was minus 1.5. And fifth was also minus 1.5. So if at all you calculate this, you will be getting the answer as minus 2.4. So what we get is that we get net 1 is equal to minus 2.4. We can find what is O1. O1 is nothing but F net 1. And what is what type of activation function is used in max net is this one maximum of 0 comma net. So now here which is the maximum value? Maximum value here is 0. So the output O1 is equal to 0. Similarly we shall be finding for node we shall be finding what is net 2. So net 2, the equation here only difference will be, this will become W2i into xi. So the second row we have to take into consideration here. So in the second case, we have written the multiplication of these weights into the input vector. And if all I calculate this, what I would get is, I would get 0.24. So I can find out what is O2. O2 will be F net of 2 which is nothing but maximum of 0, 0,24 and this is also equal to 0.24. Similarly now we shall finding for node 3 and node 4. So for node 3 if at all you calculate I have made the changes in this multiplication. We are multiplying with the third row of the weight matrix. And if at all you do this, the answer of net you will be getting as 0.36. And O3 which is nothing but F net of 3 will again be 0.36. Now we do it for node 4. So for node 4, is 4 1 is 1. So net 4 value if at all we find out it will come to be 0.24 and f net of 4 that is O4 will also be 0.24 only. Similarly you can find for node 5 and you see that for node 5 also the answer will come for as 0.24 only. So you can do this for node 5. And O5 will come as 0.24 only. So because your net 4, 5 will also come as 0.24. So O5 will come as 0.24. Now we get a new output vector from this. The new output vector which we get here is nothing but I will indicate it as O. And this is nothing but First output is 0, second is 0 0.24, third is 0 0.26, 0 0.24 and 0.24. Now this is new output vector. Now because it is max net, max net meaning what? The output of the previous, it, it is a recurrent network. So the previous output is fed back again to the input. So I can consider it again as the input for the second stage. So now I have to do the same process iteration 2. And when I am doing the iteration 2, what I need to do is that in iteration 2, again I have to do the same thing. That is what I have to do. I have to do the same thing whatever we have done here. Take x and find out net 1, net 2, net 3 and then f net 1, f net 2, f net 3. So by doing this, what you will get is that you will be getting new values of net 1, net 2, net 3 and new values of O1, O2, O3, O4. So I want you to do this particular step. You all may not show everything but the calculations you have to do. But at least you will have to show the minimal thing like the way I am showing. 
So for node one, we are calculating we are calculating net one and the value of net one, if at all you find out, it will come this. So this is used as the activation, new activation. And if at all I get net one is this O1, which is F net one is nothing but zero. So, so the hint here is that if at all there is a negative value, then the answer is going to be zero. If at all there is a positive value, then the answer will be itself. So net two, when calculated, you get 0.072. And O2 is nothing but F net 2, which is 0.072. For node 3, I calculate net 3, 0.216. O3 also will be equal to 0.216. Similarly, for net, uh, node 4, net 4 calculation will be 0 0.072. And for node 5 also, it will be same 0.072. So, O4 and O5 also will be this. So, from this you get new output vector again. And this new output vector O will be written as Now this vector has to be given as the activation for the third iteration. So now I need to perform the third iteration giving this one as the So iteration 3 using this vector This will become the new input vector now So I double dash you can consider it And using that you again find net1, net2 So in the first case net1 comes as negative 0 0.864 so therefore f net 1 o 1 is equal to 0 net 2 comes as 0 so when net 2 is 0 f net 2 is also 0 net 3 comes as 0 0.1728 so this is 0 0.1728 net 4 0 f net 4 is also 0 net 5 0 f net 5 is also 0 so this is what we get so finally we get the final output vector and this final output vector has got only one non-zero element. So rest of all the elements are reduced to zero and only one non-zero element will be there. And if at all you see this, it is the same element. Third output was high initially. If at all remember, this was 0 0.5, 0 0.9, 1, 0 0.9, 0 0.9. So all these 0 0.9, 0 0.9 and 5, everything has gone to 0 and only one which was maximum earlier, that has remained because of the use of max. So now, this is a stable set of node outputs and is not subjected to any further changes. So how many iterations did we take? So only three iterations were needed to choose the winner node. So which was the winner node? Node 3 was the winner node. So in order to choose the winner node, only 3 iterations were required. Although other nodes were also quite close to it. Although the other nodes were quite close to it. So even though the winner's initial output, so I repeat, only three iterations were needed to choose a winner even though the initial output that is 1 was fairly close to the other competing nodes to that of that is 0 0.9 of other competing nodes so we have Within three iterations, we have been able to solve this particular problem of MaxNet and we saw that whichever was the maximum, that output is become, uh, that is the only non-zero output which is available at the final stage. So now, I will give you a problem for homework which are Construct a MaxNet with four neurons and inhibit three rates. Epsilon is equal to 0.2. The initial activations are 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7 and 0 0.9.